We turn now to an investigation into a violent attack. Halton police are looking for suspects in a carjacking in a Milton parking lot. Video of the incident has emerged and it is disturbing. Police tell us the victims expected to recover. CTV's Janice Golding joins us live with the story. Janice. Hi, Nathan. Yes, Halton Regional Police are asking for the public's help after a series of disturbing events that led to a carjacking in Milton yesterday morning. While police cannot confirm that this is video of the carjacking, they say it does appear to be the same incident. In the video, you can see a woman being pulled from a running Honda CRV. She's thrown onto the ground at a parking lot at 1050 Kennedy Circle in Milton before the suspects drive off. Police say two men smashed the driver's side window of the CRV. The victim was transported to hospital with non life threatening injuries. About 9 30 in the morning, uh, we received reports of a same vehicle, a suspect vehicle being a white stolen F 250 pickup truck, but driving erratically throughout Milton. Our officers went to stop the vehicle. Uh, the suspect vehicle fled. There was a brief pursuit, uh, which was called off fairly quickly because the officers deemed it was too dangerous given the time of the day and the number of people on the roads. The same vehicle then proceeded to uh, be involved in two hit and run collisions. It did a gas drive off at a local Petro Canada gas station and also drove through a chain link fence and drove through a playground where children were playing. So that's obviously, you know, some pretty dangerous actions on behalf of these two suspects. So that's what led up to the, uh, the incident. This all happened within about a 10, 15 minute period. Police have released this image of one of the suspects captured on security camera at a gas station. He's described as a white male with dark hair in his late 20s, clean shaven and was wearing a dark colored hooded sweater. The other suspect is described as a white male, about six foot two inches tall with a thin build. He was last seen wearing a gray sweater. Police say the white pickup that was involved in this incident was reported stolen in Peel Region on January the 7th. They're asking anyone who might have any information about this case to contact them as soon as possible. Reporting live from Janice Golding, now back to Michelle and Nathan. All right, thank you, Janice.